get him. Double kill. Alrighty, Bob, welcome back to the jungle. Gonna be playing Diana versus Echo. We're definitely gonna play for a one shot build here. We have Electrocute, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, and Relentless Hunter. And then Magical Footwear and Cosmic Insight, since we're the only AP on our team. And we could really just act to nuke, or at least deal a lot of damage to whoever we run into. And that's kind of what I'm planning here. We'll start with the Raptors. This will allow us to go level 5 a whole lot faster, and then pretty much just play to contest the Void Grubs early. We don't have to play for any sort of early ganks or any early plays. Evelyn needs to clear her camps early. If she doesn't, well, it's pretty easy to beat her. And then with my lanes, they're all pretty slow. Bot lane is an enchanter lane. Mid lane, Yasuo is that These champions need time to get their levels and then, and then they'll do something, but no pressure to do anything early. As Diana, you wouldn't farm most of your camps most of the time. This champion clears very quickly, and if you're not clearing your camps, then you're probably wasting your time. Our first goal here is going to be contesting those Void Grubs, so by starting the Raptors, we make it where they respawn sooner. So after our full clear here, we'll be able to get back to our respawn Raptors, and then do them again. That will give us more, more gold and more XP, and then on our first reset, we'll be stronger. Stronger and in, in a position to fight on the top side. Ugh. Now, I'll be honest, I'm, I, I was pretty lazy with this. I don't know where the Evelyn started. Doesn't matter too much. With the far max path, we're going to skip the blue buff here. Go to the Gromp first. So that it's the same deal, so that it respawns sooner. First item I'm thinking is pretty much Lich Bane. It's so hard to beat that as a first burst item. Proto Belt would be fine. I don't hate Proto Belt, but enemy champions kind of dive into my team, so I'd imagine that I don't need it. Since we're playing to burst in one shot, I really doubt that we would need the tankiness as well. Boom. Alrighty, finishing our clear here. Boom, we're on the top side. We, we have our red buff, we have our blue buff, and we're in position if any plays happen, but look at the minimap, Bob. That's right, look at those look at those raptors. 23 seconds. So even though top lane was low, that fella's gonna TP back. What we can do is bring it around town. Mid lane here. Because that has a shadow, so we'll move up. Q! Whoa, he's trolling. Hello, Zed, I love you. E, W, auto, auto, flash, auto, Q. Kill him. Kill him. My Q's coming up. Auto. Auto. <laughs> Phew. We have time to get this wave in, and just like that. Not a bad start. That would give me more AP on the first reset, which is not bad, but... Main deal is, even if you full clear, you still have time to do one play. Whether that play is top lane, mid lane, whatever. You have time for that one play, and then boom, we're back to the Raptors. We're back to the Krug. And once we finish these bad boys, ideally we reset. I have a lot of gold to spend. Level 4. Enemy bot lane. Not too gankable, so... Don't want to waste time around here. Sitting around wondering when other fellas are out there getting it done. Get, you know, when you're in, in bed sleeping. I sleep two minutes a night. Why? Because I don't want anyone to get ahead. Because I'm insecure. Hextech alternator amp to him. I'll get a control word too. This will really help my Yasuo, and since it seems like it's pretty easy to play around mid lane as Diana Yasuo, we'll keep doing that. One thing to know whenever you're playing around mid lane, this wall right here gives you the flank opportunity. Big wall, no flank. This walkway, flank. Alrighty, Void Grub's up in 40 seconds. I'll clean up my blue side camps. And I'm having a good time, what can I say? Yeah, yeah, I'm just chilling today, just chilling, borrowing my camps. Yeah, come hang out if you guys want. You can come hang out in my jungle. Yeah, I'll, I'll be in your lanes too. I'll use my first smite here. The faster I'm in the river, the faster I'm in position for a real play. Dive top lane, pass. Mid lane, eh, maybe. Is that level six? Moving up the river. This gives me a good position if I find the Evelyn or ooh, is that you shadow? Hello. Don't dive. Don't dive. It's not gonna work. W. E. Uh, it worked. Nevlin's like, come on, man. 
Aether Wisp, dead. When did she die? Dark Seal, glowy boat. Bob, I'm level six. I'm kind of juiced right now. Um, I'll put my ward right here just so I can spot if Evelyn's coming because these bad boys deal a good amount of damage. Whenever you're doing the Void Grubs, uh, right as they spawn here, the plant will spawn here too, so it's not like you're going to get totally owned by them. So it's important to keep in mind, especially if the enemy's going to come and contest. You want to clump them up together as Diana, get that AoE damage, just like you do to the camps. And that is that. Now, I don't have a recall. I would only get Aether Wisp or Sheen, so we'll keep clearing here. Go right back to our raptors. Luckily, we have this pathway through mid lane. Alrighty, with my level 6, I also can make way better plays. Diana's ulti sucks the enemy in. Chill out. Sucks the enemy in, and then slows them. And then, after a brief delay, deals a shit ton of damage. Don't miss that second part of the damage. You have to be on top of them. Whoa, whoa, noob alert! We're going to Q. Auto E, smite. I am the best. I am number one, and I may be dead. Moving. E, ulti. Auto. Auto. I am the best. I am number one. Evelyn made a big mistake there, man. She skipped her camps, is not level six, and tried to do the objective. Step one, farm your camps. Step two, do a play. Step three, do the objective. Now, you can see she skipped all sorts of steps. Schmack, moving. Get out of here, sushi. Preset. Void grubs. Uh, farming. And then play, get the objective, reset. And then I'll be pathing towards the bot side. Sometimes you end up in a spot like this where you can go farm bot camps up or bot camp or blue side camps down. Christ. Anyways, we're farming our blue side camps towards bot side so that we can play for mid lane and bot lane with both objectives being down. We have a lot of time to play with. We just spent our ulti in the last place, so there's no onus on us to be on the map. If our team is fighting right now, then they're fighting off my tempo. And that means that it's not my fault. <laughs> As a jungler, this is important to keep in mind. And the emotional battle you have to play against your allies. Man, Evelyn, are you walking to my red side, you ding dong? There is no way. I want to play for bot side, so even if she's on my red side camps, man, I'm not going to her red side. Not like that. I can kick her ass. All right. Schmack. Any noobs around here? Damn, I'm level eight. Listen, Bob, whenever you farm the camps, then you get a lot of experience. The levels give you damage and tankiness. Hello. You're going to flash E, ulti, W, auto, Q. And that will be that. Lucky he dashed into it. The immediate E ulti is going to surprise them. You're going to dash to them and then you're going to suck them in. We got Void Grubs in one minute, so hell, Bob, we did our bot play. That was easy enough. And now, we'll farm our camps up towards topside. These guys are fighting, but that guy's level 6. You got this. Never mind. Oh, you got this. <laughs> Poor Evelyn. Aether Wisp, Amptome, Dark Seal. Wow. I don't think her parents are very proud of her, but... You know, better than nothing. We're just glad if she's happy. Let's reset, Bob. We got a, we got a Lich Bane. And I bet I... Yeah, we can get Sorkman Boots as well. Well, 10 minutes in and we are online. That is not... Both Diana games I've uploaded recently. What the heck? They're so accelerated. If I play any other Assassin Champion, I swear. Ally bad. Pick Diana. Oh, Ally so good. Our next play is going to be attacking Diana and her red side. I'm much stronger. I'm level 8. I have the biggest item spike ever. Double buffs. I don't think it gets any worse for her. She doesn't have ulti. Let's find her and make her pay for existing. Anyhow. Q. E. Ulti. W. Auto. Oh! Oh, that's right. She she didn't use ulti. That's awesome. Scryer. Q. Auto. Auto. Yeah, she's just gonna concede. Schmack. Do you have any red buff? No. To the Void Grubs. 
There's nothing on my boss side. We just farmed our red side camp. So accidentally, we perfectly like BTFO'd her out of the map. She doesn't have access to void grubs. She doesn't have access to her jungle. She has to farm her blue side camps and then gank bottling. That is her only play. So that makes things pretty simple for us. We're going to finish these void grubs. That'll give my team way more pushing power. Score is 9-0. to zero. So it's going to be all about how we stomp the game now. So Dragon becomes less of an issue. Farming becomes less of an issue because I'm already level 9. So now we can do some plays, have some fun. Q, E. Moving. Auto. Dodge Q. Nice. Now moving on bot lane. We got Zed's ulti. That's our impact mid. We're going to make the map feel us because we're stronger than the enemy here. Any fucking Evelyn down here? Ulti in 7 seconds. I'm probably walking over ward, so we can play this a little slow. It's fine. Q, moving. I am gonna get banned for that one, but listen. I have no excuse. W. Oh, I'm trying to block Lucian ulti. He's not casting it. To the dragon. Subscribe for more point blank uh, nothing burger Diana ultis. Thank you. Wait, it's not about the dragon. Bob. Bob, let's fight. Zed has no ulti. The game is over. <laughs> it's 10 to 0. The game is over. If I'm in position to fight, then the enemy can't win. Because they can't contest. Anyhow. Phew. Phew. See, Renekton's got the right idea. There we go. Yeah. A man with some balls. Well, I guess I'll farm a couple camps here. We got one minute until the Rift Herald spawns. Our next item here, we could go Zonia's or Shadow Flame. Pretty obvious. We're just going to go Shadow Flame. The enemy is like outrageously far behind. I don't think I've ever won a game this hard. And with Shadow Flame, we get the Hextech Alternator, which gives us more bonus magic damage. And that's stronger early game. The enemy's already behind. We're just going to make him feel it. Well, we run the Electrocute. That Electrocute gives you extra bonus damage. You get a Hextech Alternator and Lich Bane. Ulti. Q. Oh, Q. Flash. Auto. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Electrocute. Bonus damage. Bonus damage. Bonus damage. Bonus damage. All of those stacking together. You pump these, like, base damages into the enemy. And then that's strong early game. It falls off later, but whenever you're super juiced as an assassin like this... They're gonna feel it. This is a very early Rift Herald, but my team is so far ahead. So now it's just about how fast we push the pace of the game. How fast we fight. One thing that's nice about Lich Bane is that it gives you a 15 ability haste as well. So my ulti will be on a pretty low cooldown. Even if we were to continue to farm all of our camps, they wouldn't give us an insane amount of XP. The way that we get an insane amount of XP now is by doing these fights. Be nice to get level 11. Ulti. Whoa! Q. E. W. Ulti. This guy is just saving his ulti forever. Say goodbye to your turret, man. Six Void Grubs, a Diana passive, and a Lich Bane. I don't... <laughs> Does it ever get better for these guys? I'm not going to drop Rift Herald here. Since we're this far ahead, we're going to save it. Save it for... <laughs> the base turrets? Like... Pushing, push, push, push. Enemy says open mid. Now that's always a lie. That's the thing. They weren't lying. Final score 304 with 120 CS, baby. GG? Question mark? Come on, let me see my final damage. Put us at Masters 260, final damage dealt, 6,000. With Electrocute dealing 500 and Sun and Impact dealing 200. Not bad. Alrighty, GG. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. See ya.